What's up guys, this is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Wallets play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round up where we left off last time, we have finally declared war on the Danish Empire and now we are finally, finally capturing the territory of Sarajevo and then bringing our front lines, or making our front lines, um, is homogenous the right word? Uh, all under one empire with no discontinuities. So this is the force they've got waiting for us. They've got a couple of mortars, <clears throat> some cavalry units to, to keep an eye out for, but nothing particularly troubling for these mighty veterans of the Ottoman campaign. And we do now have our, I think it's the first battle with our 64 pounder artillery pieces uh, in the in, in the mix. And I mean, while in this case they do not have any great walls or fortifications to tumble down, they can still do a significantly devastating job. To be honest, I'm actually interested to see what they do. I mean, I've got a fairly good handle on what I expect from artillery, and this is probably a, a terrible map for them to to be on, chiefly because um, this is going to be a map, well, this is going to be a, a battle that relies on me doing quite a swift advance chiefly because of the terrain so let's put oh, there's lots of ha oh, okay there's lots of houses around the far right end end of their line so I'm gonna put all of my mobile contingent on the left the howitzers can stay back here providing some fire support I might bring my melee infantry. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's put the ranged infantry like so. My melee troops are going to push up as a slightly slower flanking element. The great gun is also going to limber up. Lumber up. Look at that. The mighty Ottoman guns. So I want to bring my artillery up onto the hill like this this infantry needs to push up ahead of that line same with these troops the many troops can keep pushing up my cavalry can keep wandering up my general okay so they're falling back. The mortars are firing, so I think... Yeah, they are actually now hitting our lines and destroying our artillery. We've managed to take out two of my field artillery pieces. Yeah, their cavalry ought to be concerned because we have mighty camels to counter their, their cavalry. They don't have very good cavalry, they don't have any heavy units they need to worry about. Looks like this is just, this is just going to be a quick assault in up into their faces, I think. Probably going to send two of these units through through the town. It's pretty funky. But just keep moving up for now. Send the camel nomads to intercept the general. Keep some. Actually, no. Definitely get some Mamelukes in there as well, but keep these Mamelukes ready to counter charge their cavalry. Field artillery is getting up into position. My howitzers are still firing. You guys are not going to be firing at will. So who's up on this flank? Regiment of horse. charging drop these guys into square just in case okay 
Okay, you hit that regiment of horse. Camel nomads drive onwards. You intercept that regiment of horse. And let's throw our melee infantry into the mix. Field artillery and limber. I mean, we've got some. Okay, you charge the enemy dragoons. You guys come out of position. I mean, they're charging the rear of this infantry unit, but I'm not overly concerned about that. I mean, this unit, Regiment of Force, has pushed the route already. Yeah, those Dragoons have routed. Could charge the general's bodyguard. I mean, should I just drop these guys into square? Doesn't seem worth it. I just like how with the Ottomans you can create this sort of wave of troops, although you guys probably aren't going to fire. Okay, you guys charge those musketeers. To be honest, it looks like we're just doing a bit of a mate. We're going to roll up the flank. Our artillery at the back is doing... Theoretically doing some good stuff. Push the Mamelukes on to the enemy rear. Charge some of our melee infantry into the flank. I mean, that's a lot of routing troops. Well, oh, you're having a great time against all these spare units, but there's no point sending them on. To randomly attack people. You guys attack the regiment of dragoons. To be honest, general advance. <laughs> it's probably the best way to do it. It looks like we're going to kill this general's bodyguard. Come on, make sure you kill him. Yeah, we got him. You chase down those mercenaries. You keep chasing down those dragoons. Get this cavalry to charge this unit of infantry mercenaries. I mean, yeah, it's very much a combat that's been won through uh... look at these look at these gun crews came back to fight and they've been ridden down like dogs there they go awesome oh, there's a couple of dragoons up here that are trying to they're trying to continue the fight let's stop our uh, artillery from engaging. Everyone else is. Let's go see. Everyone else is dead or dying. Everyone swarm this Western European mercenary squad. Same with this European squad. You guys drive on. Smash straight in. The ninth regiment of European infantry mercenaries. Broken and slaughtered before their eyes. Yes, that would shake that should shake you. Sixth Regiment. They've been ridden down. The cavalry's routed. Everyone is destroyed. There we go. Good. So this is a 
territory that has been uh, it's been behind our lines for some time and it's not been able we haven't been able to uh, properly make a true front line until this region was captured let's destroy the university because you're probably really surprisingly happy with us Uh, okay, Zagreb. Okay, recruiting two Semenes. Recruit a Muslim unit in Belgrade to go occupy Ragusa. So now you are marching down here, ready to go hit uh, the Iroquois territories. We've got armies marching towards Venice, but I want this reinforcing army to be in good strength first. Everyone's marched up into good positions. We're not at war with Württemberg. Württemberg, Württemberg, Württemberg. Very friendly. Let us make let us make money together, Württemberg. So I still want to push on and capture Munich. Because that would not Austria out of the game. I want to push on and take Venice. I want to push on and take Tunis. Then over in the Americas, let's upgrade some of our resources. We've still got 9,000 in our pocket, which I'm probably going to use to reinforce this army attacking New Orleans. So I need to use this army. We well, yeah, I probably want to reinforce this army. I can't uh, upgrade New Orleans to have walls, which is a bit of a bummer. But I've, I'll at least have established a front line. Okay, so let's let's take a position of wanting to get some money out of our artillery. And let's shoot them. Let's shell them a bit with our with our guns because we have a significant quantity of artillery. Janissaries on the flank, they can hold. Behind each artillery unit have a risk of souls. Put unit of Sekban in the centre, Sekban on the flank, Sekban on the flank. Light cavalry and cows can team up. Mameluke guards can team up. General in the centre. So. Uh, they've got artillery and defensive positions. Those sound like shrapnel shot to me. We have to push in. Rapido. At the very least, we have a melee advantage. You can see those shrapnel shells. We're going to need to use our melee infantry to more devastating effect. Let's probably switch our artillery focus probably onto the camels. Push up our general as well. Drop you guys into square. Let's bring up our sec vans. Counter charge. These guys continue to push. Mamelu guards smash into the armed populace. Sec ban also hit that unit of armed populace to leave our janissaries free to engage. Our front line is in position and doing sterling work. Let's run our infantry guards. Uh, 
smash him, smash him, smash him. Okay, Janissary Guards, engage those Seek Musketeers. Push our... Okay, let's pivot these guys, so you don't want them firing into the combat. Camels moving up, so move up my infantry to compensate. You guys fill up the gap. Get the risks of souls over into that combat to prevent it from being bogged down. Move my sec bands up behind the line here. There we go. Good amount of damage. Where's my... We don't want to chase them down directly. Because they've got good cavalry defences. My riskers of souls have had a <laughs> I've had a great time. Push my musketeers up. Who's that out there on the flank? Boomer. Charge my little infantry into the general's bodyguard. I don't know how to really deal with deal with uh, camels, except through musketry. So I'm going to sacrifice my sec bands to hold off. Let's run in. Are they upset by my. I thought they might be upset by my riskers of souls. You keep attacking the general's bodyguard. They can't run that fast. Okay, to be honest, all three of these guys, because they're a bit surplus to requirements smash into that armed populace unit. There's a Seek Musketeer unit back there to keep an eye out on as well. To be honest, it looks like there is a bit of a... They're developing a bit of a second wind. So you are within artillery range, I think. Yeah, you are. Pretty sure I'm getting friendly fire by my own artillery, though, so that's not great. Riskers of souls. My sec bands smash straight into the biggest unit, the biggest, toughest unit they got. Call my cavalry back. You guys just smash into that musketeer unit. There we go, now it's becoming more of a Rome Total War battle. Okay, let's turn, up, turn off the artillery. The rest of their army is failing. They have a, a foot artillery unit that's shattered and a garrison musketman unit that's probably not, well, I was going to say not too stable. And they have got incredibly well diced. Run my swarm of melee troops. Swords raised. Into the night. They're wavering. Imagine being the ghost to the back. Going, okay, you're fighting Janissaries. And then you turn around and there's all of this coming right at you. <laughs> oh god, that guy two-handing over his head. Yeah, there they go. Hey, those men came back for a second. You finally killed your fellows, you have. 
good. Heroic victory. And we now have a foothold on the continent. A foothold that the Mughals are likely to make us contest. So we're about to have the vast majority of our ter territory raided by this one unit. So let's not do any investing. Could try push them out, but I don't really want... Ah, they're only a Muslim unit. Put a little infantry detachment in there just to free up our port. There we go. So they're unhappy with us, but Baton Rouge is growing, so we can hopefully put a religious building in there. Hopefully Curacao may even generate a priest. Let's hop back over to Europe, but I think... Bar all this stuff, which I've done... You're still waiting for troops, you're on your way down. <laughs> there you go, you finally... Club together. At some point we will want to declare war on Sweden. Actually, let's do a bit of a, a reconnaissance with this fleet. Let's go have a look up at this dockyard. No ships. No ships at Visby. Small fleet in Malmo. Good. So what we can do is deploy our large fleet here. To prevent the passage of Swedish ships into the Baltic. Then we can deploy this smaller tank over here at this crossing point to prevent these guys from joining the battle to defend St. Petersburg. And they will then have to go northeast and engage Damat Ali, who is waiting. Interminably waiting. But I think I'm going to have to end turn. And let's see how uh, the bad guys respond to my to my plans. As lots of my reinforcements march up. Yep, unsurprisingly, Austria is consolidating in their, lo their last territory. Spain is fighting off the Prussians and Spain as well. I would like it... Not Spain, Sweden. Uh, I would like it... I would like Sweden to attack Madrid... But ultimately, at some point, I'm going to have to bail on my alliance with Spain. And that will be probably sooner rather than later, because I will be... Ooh. Could probably engage, but I'm just a bit uncomfortable. Okay, so... Hmm. No, not yet. There will be a time. Especially if they keep running into me like that. Especially if this bridge army is depleted. I want to deploy an army to the north. So that if that army on the bridge does intercept an army. Then it, it can only be from the far side of the river. Because no forces can get within range around the back. I mean it looked like they probably wouldn't have redeployed on my side of the river. But this is Empire Total War. If there's one thing it loves to do, it's just crap all over your hopes and dreams in moments like that. <laughs> ah, well, they're not going to give us any choice. And... Okay. This army's a... This army's a bit hammered. But what I think I could probably get away with... is doing something like this where I take all the infantry I want push them up well pretty much just put my artillery at the back and then maybe retreat this unit of Semenes and this unit of Sipahi immediately because everyone else is generally useful uh, well let's do it Let's see if, uh, well, what could end up happening is that fir the first army gets destroyed trying to hold the bridge. And then the second army fall creates that new defensive barrier uh, at the back of the, at the back of the map. 
and then the shattered remnants of the Prussians try and push try and push in. Okay, so you've got a bridge on that side and then a crossing over here. So probably gonna wanna put at least one unit of guns here, because we are gonna be running low on ammo. Probably deploy both my how it says over here. My Sipahi in this unit of sec bands go back here, ready to retreat. Ooh, okay. So this is interesting, because it means I could probably... Do I probably want to start putting put cavalry def anti-cavalry defences down? rather than trenches because it's cavalry that are the biggest pain in the backside if i can i'd like to run these guys forward as well they can all oh, they can place a mine and then i want to run them forward place stakes then run back i probably want to deploy another two units of infantry around them so that's one flank then to defend this side of the bridge that normally never comes up but I don't trust the AI let's put three units two units of artillery in the center to do counter battery work that means you've got two units of infantry plus a sec band unit I would put an anti-cavalry defense here but it would cause the this artillery to be blocked Okay, good. They are all coming from the back. But the wild card is going to be... Okay, good. You should be automatically engaging the artillery, which is great. Now it says they're already pre-firing quickline, which is exactly what I want. So the light SRs are walking. So you are focusing on their gunners, aren't you? Probably the 12 pounders, because they do more damage. Place stakes. Quickly, because the hussars are coming. So I don't want the first attack to launch to take up all my surprises. First unit for SARS have routed. It does look like they're not going to bother with this bridge, but at the same time I don't want to risk it. Uh, do I have any... I didn't, so did my tiny infantry unit... No, I grouped them. I didn't withdraw them. You guys, get the hell out of Dodge. They're aiming at this Isarada unit, which is beneficial. And we'll do fire at will, because they've, they've got such a narrow, narrow cone. That will probably be fine. You guys just keep dropping quicklime on the center. You guys hit those felt Yaga Sophia with round shot. Because they were they were feeling pretty smug. General's bodyguard, don't take up any of my spikes. Good. Keep blasting this central spot with canister shot. Just keep firing. Ooh, good, 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 good. Aim at the 12-pounders, because they are on the move. One hit in, on this hitbox, and they all go down. 
Another general's unit has been killed, charging into my spikes. Good stuff. I want to see a volley come crashing in here. Seminis? Don't want seminis. Come on, do good stuff. Miss it. How did you hit in the middle? Ugh. Still. Oh, you get Sophia. I'm, I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. It sounds sufficiently German to me. My 18 pounders continue to blast with canister shot. So who's this coming in? First foot guard. 18th, sorry. The 18th foot guard marines. Probably want to push you guys in just a little bit, and you guys in just a little bit. Hey, we actually have some guys pushing in on this bridge now. All turn into all go go square. The big unit of Sipahi, I probably want to put over here in case any of these cavalry break through. The Marines are finally getting a taste of it. There we go, down to 96 men. Quick climb comes in. Actually, you guys are within range of the Republican Guards. So that's probably a bad idea. Let's push, pull you guys back. It looks like the infantry are trying to come into the field, but it looks like they're probably bugged coming in. More than happy for you guys to just have a terrible time. There we go. Gendarmerie. Drop them both into square. You guys aim at this line infantry guards unit. The cavalry is routing. The 12th regiment are also looking mighty unhappy. Don't get engaged. Just let them fire into the into the gendarmerie. Maybe I should I should start to specifically target my artillery. There we go. You guys get back into formation. back over here. You men get out of formation. So it's another general's bodyguard unit coming in. My sec bands are withdrawing. Oh no, my seminies and my sec yeah, my my routing is pathfinding is is knackered. Another light horse unit. You guys hit the seventh. Yeah, they have decided they've had enough, so it's got my artillery to hit the light SARS.
No one else is within range, but the 9th Regiment of Dragoons is trying to get over the bridge. Field artillery is doing good work. Okay, don't engage them anymore because they're not firing. Hit the 5th Regiment. Because right now this is a quite a useful little tool for us because it draws down the... It reduces the number of enemy arm. Uh, it reduces the number of units they can have on the field, but at the same time, it's providing nothing of value. Artillery's in good shape. Blasting canister shot into the enemy formations. So we need to start focusing on hitting some of these infantry formations as they come along. I might be getting shot at by some stealth unit in the woods. Yes, there I am. Swiss, Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Blaster! How's their artillery going? He destroyed one gun. Ooh, good quick climb hits onto the seventh. Yeah, they've been pushed back. They've been pushed back, pushed off by our by our artillery. Their infantry are going to start getting within range, so I'm going to start attacking some of them. Although you can probably keep attacking those guys. You guys start to attack these new units. Okay, the artillery back there has been routed, so let's try and keep our counter-battery focus going and engaging... Third and second regiments at the rear. And if we can significantly damage these forces before they even get within range, okay, they're still shooting at me with the light infantry, so I'm going to do this. There we go, 100 Grenadiers cut down, 70 odd. Oh, there we go, look, they broke immediately. So you go after the third, you go after the first regiment. And that's the end of the sixth. The hope is, the more damage I can do to them before they get to the bridge, then... Uh, the less time they spend being shot at by my... The less time they spend getting shot at by my artillery. So I can hear them firing, I just don't know who they're engaging. It looks like it might be... This infantry unit, so I might even need to pull back even more. Which I don't really want to do, but I've got to do what I've got to do. Okay, let's start to hit the un more units as they as they begin to come in, rather than focusing on.
Okay, you form square. You try hit. Sixth regiment is pushing in. Foot guards, line infantry, militia, grenadiers, militia, foot artillery. You guys gonna try cross the bridge? Many have tried. They're attempting to cross the bridge. Focus fire on the Jaeger, to be honest, because they are a problem. Although less of a problem now they're getting within range of everybody else. Two units of cavalry are attempting to cross this bridge where they're just going to be met by a fusillade of shots, although these are the Dragoons have dismounted. Good idea. But once these dragoons. Well, if these dragoons also dismount, then. Uh, yeah, which they have. Then we'll get into a regular old musket battle with them. You guys hit the first regiment of foot, they're blasting them with canister shot, which is good. These guys want to get involved in a musketry battle with my men. They are more than welcome. Canister shot. Keep dropping quick climb shots in the middle of the crossing here. Okay, you hit that unit there that's trying to destroy us. You hit. That regiment of howitzers, that's an important unit to kill. The guards are coming in. Quick climb coming in. Delicious. Nice low shots. Here comes another volley. Oh. Beautiful. 21 men remaining. It's got to be bye-bye from you. Definitely got to be the way to go. My artillery's doing some good work against the 5th. try and pull this infantry unit back just to test my reinforcements because again they were supposed to come in and they failed to come in over here quick climb The more damage you do with the quick line, the less time they spend here in the crossing, and the more time, well, the more, the longer our ammunition lasts. That's my overall strategy. OK, 
Okay, looks like we've got another army coming in. Finally. One army's been depleted. Okay, the Howitzers have lost their training teams, which is great. Okay, let's try focus on the army units that are coming in. They can afford to burn a bit of powder. Especially as they're only militia. There we go. Not very good hits. Light horse coming in, so let's halt my foot artillery. Let them reload to fire off some shots against the ninth when they get within range. I might send my Sapahi out on a little run, a little errand, because it looks like they've not got a lot of cavalry on this side of the field. So maybe you guys stop fire. Actually, have they blocked the... Uh... Have they successfully blocked the bridge? You might engage them instead. Actually, no. Keep firing at that artillery. It's still on the move. Okay, the fourth coming in. Engage the light horse. With canister shot. A couple of them are down from spikes. Oh no, the, the mine! What? They just ran straight into the mine. They didn't even care. Fortunately, my... I still have gun crew. Focus fire in the center. I think these guys have made it, they've made it across a bit too far for my liking. But that's... Okay, let's focus the Hussars before they get in, because that's shown that cavalry charge can already be quite devastating, because I've only got one gun remaining now. Quick lime coming in, good timing. Point where it no longer really matters now about protecting my artillery because I've only got one gunner. Bring my Sapahi in to make sure I'm not quick climbing my own men. You guys are going to have a bad time against those infantrymen. You guys reload. They're doing as much damage as they can, but it's still... They still have to be careful. Keep attacking the infantry, although this, we could be getting close to the end of their reserves. Oh, 
which I very much hope is true. Focus both my howitzers on the light infantry unit. Yeah, my gunners are now useless. both of them to attack that gun team but it does look like they're starting to run out of steam there no longer is that column of men waiting to get onto the field oh especially when stuff like that happens whatever happens this regiment needs to fall back after this battle. Who are we? Good. We shot sh destroyed this howitzer unit, so now all they're doing is they're miming what they would do if they had a cannon. In which case then I may as well turn these guys back on fire at well, I guess. Picking it, those chaps on the bridge. Come on, you fellows. As they run through the bodies of their former comrades. I'm pretty sure after this though ah pff, I say that and immediately militia militia line infantry okay it's not a problem this infantry unit is done though and the mayors will bring these janissaries into the fold All of you focus fire this Swiss Grenadier Regiment. Lots of cavalry, lots of artillery, sorry. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. You men, are they shattered? They are shattered. Okay, now they're starting to quick climb our flank. Is it from you? Are you still firing even though you're technically dead? if it is that's a problem probably want to try and drop a quick lime shell on you Let's speed this up a little bit because they need to decide what they're going to do it'd be nice if I could kill that howitzer unit with quicklime. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna. Oh no, that did w well, sort of worked. You can now engage the 18th. Oh god, alive. Well, they when I said they were done, they so weren't done. Okay. You guys come over. You guys just block them. Okay, their quick climb is just about 
touching us. So I probably want to go back a little bit. Sacrifice this gunner. You guys just keep firing on them like mad. Because these guys, to be honest, it doesn't look like they're going to cross. Oh no, yeah, I thought they were done, but they were not done. They're just sending everything they got at us. Every unit I send at them just uh, comes back dead. Oh, crowds of shots coming in. Oh, beautiful. Focus one onto the Dragoons, one onto the Grenadier Regiment. Ooh, it's starting... You want to start dropping quick climb on us like that, eh? It is unfortunate we're not getting... Is it because are they in the river somehow? Sure looks like it. Hmm. There. Okay, let's go stop our artillery from killing each other. Quick line. Oh, too late. They dropped it. Oh, they've been dropping it on the damn militia. What a waste. What a waste. That's better. You, how much ammo have you got left? Not very much. Let's put one over here. Okay, drop it. Slap bang in the centre, please. When you finished reloading. You guys engage the that unit of houses that's getting closer. Come on, mass route, mass route. You know you don't want to be here. start to fire against some of these other units or do I just keep dropping it right here because if they're here I don't want them to be here as for as long as possible okay you're out of ammo Howitzer crews had enough from being executed. It's 
very much just a case of uh, keep the guns hot good some shots are coming in perfect that's a lot of dead grenadiers back there There we go. Okay, now this might be it, maybe. I may want to specifically go after these dragoons now with my howitzers. Good, that's... Th what was that? 13 cavalrymen dead? couple more really good hits. Well they won't be long so soon when they're out of uh, they're not they're they're within range. I keep missing their howitzers. Okay they're wavering. Broken okay. Round shot. That unit of howitzers, I think. I think. That's now it. It's just artillery now. In which case, then you guys pick off the first unit. My howitzers pick off the third regiment sat back here. Although you might want to actually take out this unit of light infantry because they're. Popping off shots against it. my infantry when my boys can't do anything about it. Okay, round shot these guys. Okay, they've routed. There we go. Specifically go after those cavalry. Okay, they've routed. Good. Good. Soon we'll be in a position where I can just send my general over there to go and take him out. Okay, you guys focus on the second regiment. Quick line coming in. Oh, a lot of dead Prussians. As the final volleys come in and they're shattered. My general can get involved, take out these gun crews. Go take out the fourth. God, this has been a... It's not been ideal when I've not been able to call in my uh, reinforcements the way I want them to. Nope, no artillery shot for you. Chase down and kill the gun crew. There's no immediate rush to go kill that last unit. This unit over here. Plus we've still got a unit of cavalry back there. Or two units. Okay, so if I send my Sepai, we can't actually kill them. My howitzers are not in range, so let's limber them up. Yeah, my general can't kill them either. Okay, attack ground nearby with my field artillery. Oh, good. Send my some weight infantry to charge in, just to just to get them under melee combat, just to make them rout. There we go. Yeah, so they've completely bugged out on the bridge. Close victory. That wasn't a close victory, that was a great victory. Our already beleaguered forces repulsed 7,000 strong army. It wasn't even my full seven, my 7,000 army. Uh, it was only these guys. But yeah, let's push them back. <laughs> push them back. Killed another one. Oh, beautiful. Although it definitely does mean that that army now needs serious reinforcement. 
But that's why we've got so many armies in the field, so that we can do that whole leapfrogging thing. Mm -hmm. There we go. The Mughals are not going to let us take the territory that easily. The oh, horn they're sending troops up to go here since the hidden. Don't worry, Mughals. Your time will come. <laughs> Their army is actually falling back. But we're bringing up more troops from Persia, so they're not being... They're not getting a free reign from us. No siree. The Danes are on the move, having lost all their territory. The Venetians are on the move. We may be able to attack them outside of range of Venice for support. Maybe. As the pirates carry on their sneaky work. Okay, so you can replenish and probably pull back a bit. You need another unit of artillery, methinks. Such as a siege gun? I oh, know, there aren't any spare. You can march you up. The Breslau garrison is no longer needed, so they can march north to bolster my forces in that direction. We have got... Okay, you need replenishment and you also need a unit of infantry. Pref preferably elite infantry. Let's get a unit of grenadiers. You're in good shape, but I don't want to push you up too far. Okay, run you up to Sebastian Dodzauer. Just, just knock them out. So we lost a lot of men, but this army isn't immediately needed. Because we have this force that can sit in Nuremberg. And you push up to provide support. Can this army leave Venice yet? That's the big question. Yes, it can. So let's upgrade our industry. Because then it looks like the battle for the battle for Munich could be quite a good one. You're in a good position as well. So you're trying to convert Venice to Islam, you're doing it quite well. Construction report. Okay, let's just keep our keep our military buildings. Upgraded. Keep our economic upgrades rolling. Because that's how the that's the best way, or our only way, of supporting our continuously expanding military forces. Especially as we bring the light of industry and reason to our new lands. Okay, then over in the Americas we've got Again, the chief problem there is we can't actually recruit good infantry from our territories here. We don't really have a good we don't really have a we don't really have any production capacity for Good troops. I mean, we can create native troops down here in Paramaribo. But then again, so the Mughals shouldn't technically have any good troops either. I mean, granted, that's a lot of Muslim and a lot of not very good troops as well. As long as we keep our infantry corps strong, we can just uh, surround and engulf them with melee troops. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Drop these semis into Rijika. You guys group up. Spend some money on you. 
you guys upgrade. You guys push up, but not within range. Although there is no... To be honest, the best thing to do would be to take Munich to push all the Bavarian or the Württemberg troops out of the region, I think. But I also... Want to check some of these armies that are being recruited. Or to be honest, we could probably do with standing up more forces. Military engineer school, that gets us the great gun. Good, so this could be like a, a new pattern army. Which has two 24 pounders plus siege guns when we get them. And you are going to get some Nizam rifles. Good. You can stay where you are. You're waiting for reinforcements from you guys. Can the army leave Dresden? I probably want to say no. Minus four. Not long. But I think the move is definitely to take you... You're going on onward to Stuttgart. March you up to here. Ah, oh, you guys are, could do with a turn of reinforcement, really. Let's hop down to... Well, not India, but the Indian area of operations yes now we've got you concerned you've got armies to actual troops to deal with your cranism the cavalry so let's get get a Sipahi, get a camel get a actually no get a deli get a mamelukes i like them more so than the Delhi horsemen, because they don't have as much of a problem of shooting me in the back. Okay, good. This force at Baghdad is done. And can also march down to this region. There is no rush. We don't have to send them by sea. This guy can continue his push along the northern route towards Afghanistan, which is now not garrisoned. Workers are on strike in Dagestan, but that's okay. They'll br I'll actually I'll exempt them from tax just in case they break the coffee house and causes the morale problem to be significantly more important. You are also running all the way up here to an army that does not need your reinforcements. Okay, you're, you're waiting for this army to be deployed... Okay, let's hit end turn. One more end turn. Just because I'd like to end the episode actually doing something. <laughs> no. So let's see how the world reacts. This is a very long episode. <laughs> Especially as I've only just done an hour episode uh, in for part 65. So this is a bit of a surprise for everyone, including me. I need to go make some lunch. Hmm. <laughs> Desperately trying to stand up more men. They are, they are trying, though. You got it. You can't fault them. That they are definitely still trying to uh, field significant forces against us. Ah, Moldavia could build an industrial building there. Must remember that. And roads as well. I haven't checked roads for a while. Most of them will probably be okay, but still worth to check. I think I might pull my army out of Louisiana. I can't support it, not with what I've got. I think I'm asking for that army to be destroyed. 
I wonder if... I wonder if I could even use it as a bargaining chip for a temporary peace with the Mughal Empire. Maybe. We have repulsed them a few times quite significantly in previous battles. Denmark demands peace. No. <laughs> they don't demand peace. They ask for peace. Because they're not in a position to demand peace. I think that's probably a good idea. So go diplomacy, Mughal Empire, open peace, and I will offer Lower Louisiana and this trade again. Marsh. Good. So that is good for many reasons. A, it pushes our army back to a place that we can actually could actually use it. B, it, it uh, pushes all their troops out of India. And it, oh, although that's not... I forgot, but Afghanistan's hoping they'd be down here. But at the very least, it allows us an opportunity to build up our armies in good areas to defend. We can build up a bit of a, a, bit of a deterrent force. Moldavia, let's upgrade you to this, upgrade you to a craft, to a weaver's, a weaver's place. Lots of very, very good upgrades. This army's still replenishing, as, it, as is this guy. This guy is now pushing up. You can hold the bridge and these guys can be your reinforcements. I did send stuff up there, didn't I? Like, I'm pretty sure you're getting an artillery piece and I want a... You can get an artillery piece as well. Yeah. But what I think I want to do is march this guy to here. March. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna make sure I do this right. So you do need reinforcements, but I've got. I think I will also have these guys. Maybe have these guys in. If I march you guys up. They don't have much artillery. We've got some. Oh, twenty-four pounders horse guard artillery. That's pretty good. I don't really want to. Mm, don't want to push if that's the case. I'll well, not push yet. I want to get all my ducks in a row. The army at Prague is growing. Good. Well, if I want to do something, I suppose this is the main main thing to do. Begin the push on the North Italian front. But looking at the timer, we don't even need to look. We are well over, so thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, uh, well, hopefully, the beginning of the end of the Venetian Empire. Cheers everyone.